Fleetwood Mac meets Joni Mitchell meets Kate Bush meets Coldplay. Gosh, I just pulled that out of thin air. <laughs> When I was a teenager, I kind of, um, I didn't have the same taste as my friends because I was, my, my dad was really into like country music and my mum was really into rock, which is probably why my main influence is so I had all their albums in my bedroom and because I was in the attic, they'd kind of put everything up there and I kind of got into music that I wouldn't normally have gotten into. I actually started out always wanting to be an artist and by accident kind of fell into writing for other artists and started having some hits and now I'm here in a great situation of being able to record and release my own record which is uh, you know dream come true. Well, my uncle Tom's got probably one of the best voices I've ever heard. He's a, if you want to hear a good voice, come down here. <laughs> it's like, I think, you know, it's, an, it's a natural thing for me to be surrounded by music. And, you know, in, in the olden days when there were no TVs and, you know, radios and tape records and stuff, that's how people passed information on to their children, was through song, you know. We used to sit in this room and sing folk songs, and it's just like really moving. I'm not in love. I this blue nothing to do with Helen's music, I think, is uh, intensely uh, melodic. Um, I think it's quite melancholic in places, but, but very touching. I think she has a real gift as a lyricist to find a way to, to send a, a universal message that, that everyone really gets. And I think she has a, a voice that just is so, it's so good for her songs that even though she's written songs for other people and had lots of success, I love her singing her own songs the best because she interprets them like nobody else can do. Thank you very much. Cheers.